guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as I have something super amazing to show you that is another fabulous and new benefit of your Creative Fabrica All Access membership. Now, this one is called CF Spark. I used it, I checked it out. I'm here to tell you my thoughts. I can't wait to hear what you think about it. I know that I will be using it more in the future, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to see all the fun ways that we come up with, but for today, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here we are on the Creative Fabrica website, and I am so super excited to have you guys join me today. I know I said that already, but it is still absolutely true because this is a super duper exciting brand new addition to the all access subscription that you already know and love from Creative Fabrica. So also, if you don't have your subscription yet, definitely check it out because this is just one of the many perks available to you. But I am talking about the new CF Spark. So you notice it is added right here on your main menu. And if I hover over it, I can just go ahead and click on create designs. Now I can also go to browse, but I want to show off just a few things that I've been able to do. All right. All of these are created using my keywords. And basically, let me tell you a little bit about what happens here. You get to type in any keywords that represent what you want to see. Okay. So for example, uh, this one, you know, I did some fruit clip art for stickers and I am super duper happy with the results. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, Becky, where do these images come from? Well, the great part about that is that they are completely generated from the AI software. So what that means is I can type in any list of keywords and it's going to generate these images based on my keywords and not just like a Google search. Okay, these are absolutely 100% generated. And it's kind of like, I mean, the way it's described is, you know, all artists take inspiration from a source. So if I'm going to draw a tiger, for example, well, of course, I will have either need to have seen a tiger, maybe call it from memory, maybe I'm going to go look at images of tigers. I mean, there could be a lot of different inspiration pieces that come to me. Now, that doesn't mean I'm copying somebody's design or copying somebody's artwork, because that's not what we're talking about here. But I just mean, obviously, the human brain as you're creating is going to bring up inspiration points. And those are the things that make up your artwork. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't original pieces in there or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not saying <laughs> anything bad. I know I'm, I'm just confusing things. I'm confusing things. Let me jump on over before we get too far. I'm just going to click right here on the help center. And this will actually answer a lot of the questions that you have. Okay, there are um, plenty of speaking points talking about, you know, can you earn money? You know, you know what, that's a great starting point. You absolutely can. Now, first of all, there is this contest going on. You guys need to come and check out that article because <laughs> quite frankly, you know, this is something I need to be entering myself because that would just absolutely be amazing. Am I right? But in addition to that, and this will make more sense as I show you just how easy it is to create these pieces of artwork, but they are working on a model on how to pay for downloads. So that means as you create, you could potentially be building up a portfolio of clip art that you would be able to sell to other crafters and, you know, other, I say crafters because let's face it, most of us are crafters, but other Creative Fabrica users. Okay. Let's, let's go back up to the top here. Okay. And it basically it gives you the overview on generating sparks. Okay. That's what it's called whenever you input your inspiration and then get a response back. All right. Those are, those are sparks. I love that. I absolutely love that. Okay. Now, as I said, this is part of your all access subscription. Super duper amazing. I mean, like I said, it is if you don't need any more reasons to join the subscription. But basically, there is also an area for speed credits. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. But just know that that is an additional option. If you need super duper fast responses, or maybe you are just creating a lot and those little incremental waiting periods add up to a lot of time for you. All right, so that is an option. 
Now you can obviously download them, you can publish them so that they are available for public consumption. Um, you can use them pretty much in any way that you see fit. Obviously there are going to be, I don't want to say restrictions, we don't like that, but there are going to be licenses, okay, because you get these with a commercial license. Can you make your creations hidden or remove them? Yes, you can remove them. No, you can't make them hidden yet, but it is coming in the future. Can you have larger images? All right, another working hard on this. Let's talk about blurry images because you guys might see this from the standpoint of watching the video is what happens, you know, the images look blurry. Well, that's okay because this is where that technology comes into place and it may think that the image is unsafe. Okay. But you know, again, another thing that they're fine tuning, you guys got to understand while this is super exciting, obviously anything new, you're going to be working through, you know, any little hiccups, things like that, because that's one thing that we can say about Creative Fabrica is that, you know, customer interaction, uh, subscribers, everybody that we work with, absolutely want you to have the top notch experience that you deserve. Okay, so this will continue to be a work in progress for quite a while. Now, this is the part I was talking about um, how the images are generated. It falls under also are the images copyrighted and this walks you through and the example that they use is drawing the Eiffel Tower, you know, and while it's easy, you know, to believe that all original artwork is, is all original, you know, we do recall these images, whether we've seen them in pictures, whether we've seen them in person. Okay. So, you know, just keep that in mind. All right. I don't want to give anybody the wrong impression that I'm saying that the AI software is doing something. It's not, it is completely generating these based off of your keywords. Okay. Now we are looking at square images, but we are experimenting on that as well. So a lot of things, a lot of answers here for you come and read this. And here are the terms and conditions. Okay. We can give that a look real quick. If you want, I'm not going to go over this in depth, but it's going to talk to you about ownership. It's going to talk to you about licensing. It's going to um, talk about any restrictions, liabilities, you know, all of the legal context is here. So definitely check that out. It is worth a browse. Next, speaking of browsing, we are going to go to browse creations because I want you guys to see some of the amazing artwork that is being generated using this. Now, I mean, first of all, obviously we are in full Christmas season here, but look at the awesome detail and creativity that we are seeing in these images. They are absolutely gorgeous and stunning. I mean, I just can't get over how beautiful these are. And if you need some inspiration, not that you want to copy somebody else's work, we, well, that's not what we're talking about, but look at these prompts. Okay, so I can look at a style of an image that I like, and I can look at the keywords and say, you know what, maybe this is the piece that I'm missing. And maybe this is the prompt that I need to input to take mine to the next level. So definitely come in here and check it out. You know, really, I can't go on and on enough about how gorgeous these images are. Obviously, they are much more advanced than my own. And you can also search them. So if there's something special that you're searching for, come to search creations put in, you know, a keyword, let's just say beach. Okay. I live by the beach. It's very common. If I type in beach, you will see all of the beautiful images coming up that fit the beach. So for example, this one here is very watercolory. All right. I love that. That's my jam. Um, I can download it. This is commercial usage allowed. Um, super duper awesome. And look at this simple prompt watercolor beach. That's all it took to get this beautiful print right here. So, all right, I know you guys are anxious. Let's go ahead and test out a few keywords of our own. First of all, let me just show you that my personal favorite is this one right here. I will list the link to it because you can absolutely check it out. It is available for download. And so the prompts that I used for this one, all I put in was beach sunset in starry night style. Boom, done. All right, love that, love that, love that. So piece of cake, but like I said, we're going to do a few of our own. What would you guys like to see? Let's do something funny here. We're gonna do Mona Lisa kitten blues. 
So let's see what that populates. Now, this shows your place in the queue is 14. This is where the speed credits come into place. And it tells you right here, skip the queue, get speed credits. I'll be honest with you, I have not had any super long wait times. Now, obviously, as this gains popularity, like I know it will, you know, the queue times could increase, but I've been very satisfied with the, the response time that I've had. And with this prompt, I'm going to get four different options. I don't have to take any of those options, but consider this a starting point. So you have this image in your head, you type in the keywords that you think will obtain that image. So then the next thing I want to do is review these and say, okay, well, maybe I want to add a little bit more. Now, I will say none of these quite have the effect that I was going for. That's not the software's fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. Let's try something a little bit more reasonable. I mean, who doesn't need cats playing poker? I mean, we see the dogs playing poker image all the time. I'm saying, don't get me wrong. I love dogs. I do. But I also love cats. So I'm leaving a lot of artistic freedom here by entering fewer keywords. The more specific that I want to go, the more keywords I need to input. Because obviously this is just like any generator. The more information I feed it, the more it's going to take all of that, mix it all up into one pot of artistic goodness and give me more accurate search results. I'm kind of winging it here. I'll be honest with you. I don't have anything in mind. Ooh. Well, I think all of those turned out good. Here, I'm going to remove this one. That didn't, you know, I just don't really need to look at those pictures. But, um, cats playing poker. I am digging it. Okay, let's go ahead and... Christmas gnomes are always a hit. So I put in a few more keywords. Let's go ahead and let the queue do its thing. And then we're going to see what we get. Okay, okay. So it definitely took the colors and the gnomes. This is more on what I was looking at. You know, just thinking that the gnomes and the Christmas gnomes and all the different accessories that go along with it. So I'm pretty satisfied with what I input and what I received. Now, obviously, like I said, I have not fine tuned all of the different prompts. Now, let's, let's also say this, there is a prompt book Okay. And you can come and get a lot of really good, you know, when it's talking about humans and characters. I mean, look at all of these awesome uh, prompt words that you can use. This is a great way to come check this out. And it's going to tell you more about building your prompt and what you can do with that. And naturally, you can come to my creations. It's going to take us to, so these are the three that I have published. All right, if we're talking about publishing them, let's go back. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go back to the create page. And let's, you know what, let's do the cats playing poker. Let's just do publish. And it's publishing. It does take a minute. But what that means is that this is going to go out there on the Creative Fabrical website for anybody with the subscription to use. So you're welcome, all of my fellow cat lovers. And if I go to open, it'll be under my profile. There we go. So not disappointed with that at all. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this cute little overview. You know, like I said, I think this is super great. I have a video using this exact photo. Okay. So definitely want to check that out coming up. And then I really think that maybe not with the fruit clip art, but I can see myself doing a sticker video or maybe a printable of some sort with uh, you know, doing generated clip art here because I am super happy with all of those results. So, all right, guys, I hope this has sparked the creativity within you because it definitely has with me. I find that I am constantly, instead of going to look for clip art, I'm coming back here. I'm going to check the spark. Uh, we'll call it a gallery, the, the community input, 
And, you know, I think also it can have the reverse effect. Maybe I want to come browse and get inspiration for a project maybe that I should be working on. So definitely worth checking out. You know, if it's something you get really good at, it's something that you'll be able to also provide a passive income for yourself. So you can't go wrong. I highly encourage it. You won't be sorry. And it's free with your all access subscription. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap it on up. So guys, how did you feel about the all new CF Spark? I think it's pretty amazing. I think there are a lot of really neat features. There's a lot of great projects you can make with it. And of course, I already have one in mind that I can't wait to show you guys. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crappy friend. But most importantly, put all of your thoughts and comments down below. You guys know I love hearing from you. I want to hear your ideas. Definitely make sure you go and, you know, I showed you about the giveaway. I mean, who doesn't need to win an amazing giveaway opportunity like that? So definitely lots of really great things to check out, but I am going to wrap it up for today, guys. Like I said, keep an eye out for future opportunities for videos that I'm going to use CF Spark in, and I know that I will win you over as well. And it is included in your all access subscription, which I know you guys already have. So I'm going to wrap it up for today, but thank you so much for stopping by. I do appreciate you and we'll see you again next time.